Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Thank you for asking. I am pretty good. Okay, <laughs> good. How are you, Bezat? Good, good, good afternoon to you too, dear. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, so ready for today's class? Yes. Okay. Any ready. questions? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, from yes. Um, magazine. Yes. Uh, and on page mm -hmm. uh, 56. 56 I, or 156? No, no, 56. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm there. Magazine. Yes, yes. Grammar book. Mm -hmm. I want to ask about catch up. Yes. Uh, can can we use catch up for dreams and goals or not? For dreams or goals. Mm -hmm. Well, I've never heard that being used like that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it somewhere or is that just a question? No, it's just a question because I looked up in the dictionary. Looked it and up. Also so you looked it up in the dictionary, up. yes. Mm -hmm. And also I had a um, PDF. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I uh, find catch up yes, in yes. Um, this uh, um, PDF. Mm -hmm. It was about mm -hmm. um, phrase, some phrasal verbs. Yes. And um, it, 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 uh, it mentions catch up mm -hmm. means when you want to see your friend and it's equivalent in Farsi didar taze kardan or and or catch something that yes yes of course yes yes well I just uh -huh. while we were talking I just looked it up and it's actually the name of a song I want to catch up with my dreams. I think, well, uh, that must be possible. Yes, yes, what did you say? Oh, you said you... Oh, okay, it was a song. It must have been the song. This is the name of this song. Yeah, um, generally speaking, it could be possible. I just never heard that being used. And now I see that it's used in a song. Why not then? Yeah, why not? Catch up with your dream, mm -hmm. dreams. Why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Catch up on something or catch up with someone. Catch up is, with, is this... with someone is, yes, with someone. But catch up on something, let me see. Maybe we have that one too. Mm -hmm. Catch up with is, of course, correct. But let me check on. Maybe the meaning changes, you know. Sometimes when you change the preposition or particle, the meaning changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I only have with. Catch up on. I only see with catch up on. Okay, just one more on the free dictionary. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have catch up on too. Mm -hmm. Okay, it means the same thing. Let me see if there is a mm -hmm. difference with with or on. Catch up with. Catch up on. Okay, so far there aren't any tangible differences, but let me check this one too. 
Okay, mm. sometimes there is no, I see. This native says, sometimes there's no difference, sometimes there is. So it depends where you use it. Sometimes if you mm -hmm. use catch up with or catch up on, there is no difference. Catch up on all this mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. See this, so you catch up with the other students. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've read two examples so far, and both of them say that there aren't much differences. Catch up with is usually a situation mm -hmm. you're chasing someone. Okay, the same thing. Okay. Based on what I just read, I can tell you that there must be a difference between catch up with and catch up on, but as they say, um, it's not a very big difference and they're mostly used interchangeably. Do you understand the meaning of interchangeably? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yes. On mm -hmm. page... Mm -hmm. we can I say something about catch up? Excuse me? Uh, can I say something about catch up? Yeah, sure. We use catch up growth in medicine a lot. Catch up growth. And what is it? Catch up growth. Mm -hmm. For example, we have two babies mm -hmm. with the same age. One of mm -hmm. them is, for example, three kilograms. Mm -hmm. And um, um, or both of them are three kilograms. But after yes. a couple of months, mm -hmm. we see one of them is normal in gaining weight mm -hmm. and another is not. Mm -hmm. And we find that uh, the second one has a problem. And mm -hmm. after we remove the problem, yes. the second one will compensate. Mm -hmm. And in that period that he's, uh, you know, gaining, for example, gaining is accelerated. Uh -huh. He has catch up growth. Uh-huh. I see. Yes. Yes. Yes, because you you know catch up. Food. Yes. Um. Uh, in essence, is when two things, at least two things, are compared. One is behind. One is just uh, having a normal pace. The one which is behind is trying to catch up on something. And you know, yeah. Shirin, you mentioned something because you looked this up in in a dictionary. That's when, for mm -hmm. example, you haven't seen your friends in a while a lot of things mm -hmm. happened in their mm -hmm. lives you are behind mm -hmm. on the news you don't know what happened in their lives so you try mm -hmm. to catch oh, up yeah. it means that you in farsi you translated but it's not exactly that mm -hmm. it means that you go to them mm -hmm. and you sometimes say okay guys catch me up it means tell me mm -hmm. what happened when i wasn't here mm -hmm. tell me what happened Mm -hmm. uh, during mm -hmm. these last few months that I haven't seen you, okay? So yes, yes catch up. Yes. With you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So catch up growth is very popular in medicine. In medicine, catch up growth. In mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yes, very good. Thanks for sharing. Aha, Shirin, do you have problem with the translation? Uh, Yes, I want to... See, there is a, um, this this mm -hmm. word doesn't have one translation in Farsi. ببینید معناش ترجمه‌اش رو اگه می‌خواید یه چیز نمیشه تو فارسی. یک کلمه یا یک عبارت براش معادلش نیست. باید ببینید کانتکست چیه؟ به اصطلاح فارسی ترجمه‌اش کنید. ترجمه‌تون نمیتونه لفظ به لفظ باشه. مثلا شما دارید با یه نفر میدوید با دخترتون پیاده روی دو انجام میدید بعد یهو وسطش دخترتون ازتون جلو میزنه و شما عقب میفتید بهش چی میگید؟ wait let me catch up اینجا چی ترجمهش میکنید؟ وایسا بذار بهت آفرین وایسا بذار بهت برستم حالا یه مدتی دوستاتون رو ندیدید مثلا سفر بودید چیش ماه اصلا ازشون خبر ندارید به اون دوست سمیمیتون زنگ میزنید میگید اوکی catch me up اینجا میگید catch me up با اون let me catch up فرق میکنه یعنی تو به اگه بخوایم ترجمه تحت لفظی کنیم اینطوری میشه تو به من کمک کن که برسم 
اما هیچ وقت تو فارسی اینطوری نباید ترجمهش کنید مثلا بگید که خب این چند وقت که نبودم چه خبر فارسیش اینه خب اینا رو باید توی کانتکس های مختلف ببینید مثلا اینی که الان شما پرسیدید من تعجب کردم که چرا از کتاب مجله پرسیدید چون یه نمونه اینو توی گرامر داشتیم نمیدونم به درسش رسیدید یا نه راجب آمار بود آمار مصرف سوخت بود اگه اشتباه نکنم نه نه آها خب یه کچاپ هم اونجا داریم نه. که من اونجا توضیح پس نرسیدید که اونجا سوال نداشتید نه آره یه کچاپ هم اونجاست مثلا نه. آمار میدم میگن که مصرف سوخت های فسیلی فرض کنید که توی چین افزایش پیدا کرده نفت فرض نه. کنید بالاترین میزانه مصرف رو داره و بعد دو سال گس هم نه, نه. مثلا گس اویل هم داره کچاپ میکنه اینجا یعنی چی؟ یعنی آمار مصرف گازویل داره خودش رو میرسونه به آمار مصرف نفت توی چین خب این جون چون جز و فریزال ورپ های هست که به شکل های مختلفی مورد استفاده قرار میگیره شما باید تو کانتکس های مختلف ببینید اگه من میخواستم فارسی اینو بگم چی میگفتم دیگه به ترجمهش فکر نکنید مفهومش رو که میگیرید بگید من به یک ایرانی فارسی زبانی که انگلیسی بلد نیست چجوری اینو بفهمونم یا همین مثالی که الان اه. مثالی که الان زدیم درباره کچاپ گروث بود خب الان همینو میخواید فارسی بگید چی میگید دیگه نباید دنبال یک عبارتی باشید که دقیقا یه عبارت سه کلمه کچاپ گروث رو مثلا توش ترجمه کنید مگر اینکه باشه ها یه وقت یه اصطلاحات پزشکی فنی هست و وجود داره خب اون استفاده میکنید یه وقتی که نیست باید بگید بگید اصلا شاید حتی لزومی نداشته باشه که شما توی ترجمه اگه براتون ترجمه جالبه میخواید بدونید لزومی نداره که این رو به اون خواننده‌ای که انگلیسی بلد نیست و فقط فارسی شو داره میخونه بفهمونید که این کچاپ گروث و این مثلا بچه داره وزنش میرسه به اون یکی که با هم متولد شدن هم وزن بودن اول بعد این بیمار شد و اینها نه گاهی مجبورید یه پاراگراف توضیح بدید اون رو برسونید گاهی اوقات هم حالا بسته به این که این توضیحی که دادیم چی بوده حالا چون من پزشکیشو بالاخره نمیدونم این بچه این دوتا سه کیلو بودن هر دوشون وقتی به دنیا اومدن اولیه هیچ مریضی نداشته بعد دو ماه مثلا شده چار کیلو و نیم اون یکی مریضی داشته مریضیش که رفت شد شد مثلا وزنش پنج کیلو نمیدونم ها؟ یا شد مثلا چار کیلو داره وزنش رو میرسه یا خودش رو رسوند خودش رو رسوند آفایی مثلا خود بازم این رسوندنه حالا توش توی کچاب داره تکرار میشه حالا تو مثالایی که من زدم ولی خب موارد استفادهش خیلی زیاده اصلا دنبال این که یک کلمه یه شست رفته برای ترجمه داشته باشید نباشید اصلا همیشه هم اگه علاقه دارید به ترجمه توی ترجمه من اینکه ترجمه خوبی داشته باشید باید از متن فاصله بگیرید بعد از یه مدتی اگه اولین باره که چیزی رو میخونید همونجا نمیتونید ترجمه یه معمولا ترجمه خوبی ارائه کنید چون ذهنتون هنوز کلرد شده است با اون قضیه انگلیسی که خوندید همش میخواید توی اون قالب انگلیسی بیاریدش ولی وقت فاصله میگیرید بگید من اگه دارم با دوستم صحبت میکنم در این باره چی میگم من اگه دارم مثلا با خواهرم صحبت میکنم چی جوری حرف میزنم لغت انگلیسی که به کار نمیبرم تو این موارد چی میگم بعد یه معادل خوب پیدا میکنید اوکی مرسی تنکیو یا Mm-hmm. On page uh, 59, 59, to be cut up in something. Yes. Uh, Where is to? Be? It's in, for page 59. I don't have this. Ah, oh, yes. In Jomle, to be cut up with something. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. In something. Yes, yes. In cut up, uh, it's a past form of catch up. It's the past participle mm-hmm. form of catch up. Yes. Uh huh. It's a past. I uh, mm-hmm. looked it up in the dictionary, but mm-hmm. I um, couldn't find to be caught up in something. Uh, you have to uh, search the structure, not the verb. Uh, search the uh-huh. structure to be caught up in something, then space definition in Google. Let me mm-hmm. <clears throat> check it right now. For example, to in, um, be yeah, to be cut up. Yes, yes, yes. To be cut up. Yes, yes. Something cut me up. I was cut cut up in it. Offering. Alhamdulillah, to be cut up. 
بذار ببین... ببینم من اینو پیداش میکنم که الان بهتون نشونش بدم بله نگاه کنید الان همین جوری شما توی سرچ انجین گوگل بزنید to be cut up in something df def یا definition بعد براتون میاره با مثال yes and of course it depends on yes بفهمه این جمله درسته I'm caught up in many problems تو میخواستم باش جمله yes, بسازم yes of course yes that is correct of course or I will cut up no 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 I was caught up uh -huh. in many problems But in a lot of problems futures. in a lot of problems in a lot of problems mm -hmm. yes To listen to Australia? Um, okay, very good. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mm -hmm. did it. I uh, did it. And uh, how many tracks um, did you listen was... to? How many tracks did you listen to? Last night, I just one. Just one. I mm -hmm. um, listened mm -hmm. uh, three times mm -hmm. and three times? Uh, two, yes. time. two times. Two times. Yes. And then I wrote them. word by word uh -huh. and then I um, checked my uh, written uh, with uh, you the checked words. your spellings or the script that you made yes mm -hmm. yes uh, I checked my script mm -hmm. um, then at the end mm -hmm. I checked my script with the, the book script yes the and, PDF. Um, mm -hmm. it was Good. It was good. Just some, um, uh, uh, some just a little, some small um, mistakes. Very yeah. small. You made very small yes. mistakes. Okay, that's expected yeah, because yeah. it was the post beginner level. But because the yeah. accent is Australian, I tried to give you the post beginner. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll send you the rest. But just because it's easy, do not skip it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to okay. listen to them all. Maybe there mm -hmm. are a few words okay. that you don't know or mm -hmm. are not familiar to, to you. Then go to um, the intermediate what is, level. What is a snapper? Snapper. In or... one of the tracks, mm -hmm. uh, be fine and snapper tanks. What's the meaning of snapper? I don't know. Are you sure she you, it was snapper? The dictation is snapper? Yeah. Okay. S N A W P E R. Okay, I don't know. Some of the words that they mm -hmm. use in Australian English are not used like that mm -hmm. in American English. So that's why I gave mm -hmm. it to you. I don't know. I have to check. Did you look it up? Uh, I I have forgotten. <laughs> uh, but the, but it was in the PDF. Ah, it's the name yes. of one form of fish. Were they talking about fish? Um, yes, it's a, it, they talk about uh, uh, buying uh, meat, meat and yes, uh, meat. Okay. meat so and that's a kind of fish, yeah, a kind of fish. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, in the last uh, conversation, mm -hmm. in the last line, mm -hmm. uh, one of them mm -hmm. said ta, ta. Oh, yes. I think it's thank you. Oh. Yes, in Australian English, I think. I have to check. Let me check. Mm. Uh, or goodbye. Uh, mm. You one of them told uh, said, him, said, said. have a good day. Yes. Said. Oh, said, yes. have a good day. Mm -hmm. And he answered, he replied, ta. Ta, yes. I think, I think it means either goodbye or thank you, but let me check. It's Australian English. Mm -hmm. uh, the, was that T-A-H? No, T-A. 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 Oh, okay, T-A. Mm -hmm. Ta in Australian English.
<clears throat> yeah, it's thank you. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Ta. Ta. <laughs> yeah, sure. Get used to it. You're going there. Okay, what else? Okay. Nothing. Nothing thank more? You. Okay. So, okay, let's go to the PDF of actual tests for the IELTS test. Mm. I'm going to ask you questions about age, Shirin, okay? You can talk okay. about the questions that I give you as much as you want. Do you mm -hmm. like your current age? Mm -hmm. uh, my current age is uh, um, around uh, 40 mm -hmm. and uh, maybe mm -hmm. for all women in the world, mm -hmm. it's not a good number. Okay, <laughs> but uh, I like it a lot mm -hmm. uh, because um, I think uh, I can see uh, the result of uh, my um, jobs mm -hmm. and my uh, um, responsibility mm -hmm. during these ages. Yes, mm -hmm. during this age mm -hmm. and. When no 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 uh, I no, no, was, no at this age at this age mm -hmm. at this age. Mm -hmm. and when I was younger mm -hmm. uh, and I think I um, used to mm -hmm. uh, think about uh, fifty uh, I uh, fifty or forty very I used to think oh, about forty, 40. 40 yes. I mm -hmm. thought it's very bad okay, and wait, it's wait, very wait. strange. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Shirin, wait. Think. The past form of think is a thought, not thought, okay? Mm -hmm. Thought is the past mm -hmm. form of teach. So, say it again, mm -hmm. please. I used to think or I thought. I used to, uh, I used to think um, the age of, uh, the age of, 40 mm -hmm. is very bad mm -hmm. and uh, it, uh, I um, will be mm -hmm. uh, I will be uh, being an old lady no 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 but, no, 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 no. Uh, wait wait you said I will be being I, an old lady first of all you're talking about the past mm -hmm. what you thought in the past about the future Okay. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. I'm talking right now. I'm talking about the future. I think I say this. I think mm -hmm. when I turn mm -hmm. fifty, I will mm -hmm. be very old. Okay. This is about my future mm -hmm. right now. I'm talking about the future. Mm -hmm. But now, suppose mm -hmm. that this is what I said ten years ago. You mm -hmm. cannot say yes. it like that. How can? How should you change it? I thought, I thought uh -huh. when mm -hmm. when I turned 50, I would very good, excellent. Yes, mm -hmm. I would be very old, excellent. Bravo, yes. I thought when I so now say the same thing about the age 40 you were talking about yourself in the past. I thought, I, I thought when I turned. Uh, 40, mm -hmm. uh, I would be very old, okay. but uh, now mm -hmm. I'm very uh, good and I have a lot of energy mm -hmm. and uh, I can uh, live um, very uh, easily mm -hmm. than before mm -hmm. because I um, have had a lot of experience okay wait wait that sure helps. in conversation mm. use short forms i've had okay I, I've use had. the long forms or the full forms for writing okay you know in conversation mm -hmm. just use the short forms yes i've had mm -hmm. a lot of experiences a, a lot of experiences that mm -hmm. um that uh, help that that help me mm -hmm. uh, to be strong mm -hmm. and uh, uh, when 
uh, I was in uh, age uh, 30 when I got when I was 30 um, when I was 30 when I was mm -hmm. uh, when I got a bad news no no I got she didn't, seven, wait wait news cannot be counted so you can say uh -huh. one a bad news mm -hmm. a is in here counting it mm -hmm. one bad news a piece of bad news mm -hmm. A piece, uh -huh, uh -huh. a piece of bad news. A piece of bad news. When I got a piece of bad news, I got devastated very easily. Okay, now wait, but wait, wait. Now, Shirin, right? Mm -hmm. For this sentence, you can use used to. Right? Uh huh. Okay. Used to. Uh -huh. So, when I got a piece of bad news, I used to get devastated I'm, really easily. Was that I'm your sentence? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes, very good. I got, I used to get mm -hmm. devastated very easily. Very good. But mm -hmm. now, uh, I'm after uh, I turned uh -huh. into. No, uh, not 50. into. Not into. She just turn, uh -huh. turn fifty forty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, turn forty. Mm -hmm. I can uh, manage it very. Easily, mm -hmm. and uh, I can control myself. Okay, good. Sharon, do you know any expressions about the age 40? Age 40? Yes. No. Nothing? No, no. Life begins no, at no. 40. Use expressions uh -huh. in the speaking section. Life begins uh -huh. at 40. Mm -hmm. There is one book that can... Uh, help you a lot mm -hmm. okay I, um let me check the title of the book um you can use this book in order to learn different expressions words and phrases related to different topics you know different topics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example mm -hmm. one unit of this book one chapter of this book mm -hmm. is about age, everything about age. Not everything, of course, mm -hmm. there are a lot of expressions, but there are, uh, there are expressions and also um, exercises that you can work on. The mm -hmm. name of the book is English Vocabulary Organizer, and the book is, was published by Oxford University Press. Let me type the name. English vocabulary organizer. Yes, it's English vocabulary organizer. Of course, because it's mm -hmm. British, some of the expressions are British, some of the spellings, dictations are British, but it doesn't matter. You can use them. And of course, bear in mind that you don't have to just memorize everything in the book. There are 100 chapters, okay? 100 chapters. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you can just, um, you know, browse the book and see what you like. Just learn one expression mm -hmm. from each chapter and that will be a lot. For example, for the mm -hmm. age idioms, we have this. Life begins at 40. Life begins at 40. Mm -hmm. There's another one that I'm sure you know. You know, when you, you're mm -hmm. um, in the room with the examiner, and you're doing the mm -hmm. speaking part, it's very important to use all the expressions, idioms that you know about the topic that they give you. If the topic is age, mm -hmm. you can say, if it's, for example, the age 40 that you're talking about, you can use it like this. Mm -hmm. You know, people say that life mm -hmm. begins at 40. I didn't used to believe mm -hmm. this, but now that I am 40, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I think that is true. Okay, that's one way mm -hmm. to say it. Also, you cannot mm -hmm. teach an old dog new tricks. It seems um, it seems impolite, but it's not actually. <laughs> at least not at that mm -hmm. impolite in in English. Okay, for example, mm -hmm. I used to think mm -hmm. so, or for example, my brother used to say so. You you can work it up in the conversation. Um, mm -hmm. Also, looking one's age. Looking one's age is one of the expressions. Do you know the meaning of this? Looking, to look. Looking. No, to look. Long. Or to look. Looking. To look one's age. For example, mm -hmm. you say that you're 40, 
And I look at you and say, mm -hmm. ah, you don't look your age at all. You seem to be much mm -hmm. younger. You don't look your age. Asam, behet nemi khore ke in sen Yes. To look one's age mm -hmm. is another expression. See, um, mm -hmm. for, the, for the speaking part, you don't speak much. I don't mean you. I mean mm -hmm. any candidate. Okay? You only have 11 mm -hmm. to 14 minutes to answer a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, but questions. Mm -hmm. And for each question, mm -hmm. you might, for example, end up saying, I don't know, six, seven, eight sentences. But if you work mm -hmm. with these expressions, then each and every one of your sentences could contain uh, one expression. And that would be really great. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, you better you. buy this book, English Vocabulary Organizer, mm -hmm. and work on okay. it. No hurry. And don't okay. try to memorize mm -hmm. each and every one of the expressions. And, and, okay. and there's one way to do this book, to work on this book. Don't try to do the exercises. The answer to the exercises, uh -huh. uh, the answers are at the back of the book. So before mm -hmm. reading the book, just uh, grab a pen or pencil, go to the back, find mm -hmm. the answers, fill in the blanks, and then read the sentences. Learn it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Okay. So mm -hmm. the next question again about age. What mm -hmm. do you like about this age? You mentioned one, like... that when you were 30, mm -hmm. whenever you got a piece mm -hmm. of bad news, you would get devastated, mm -hmm. you used to get devastated uh, very easily. Mm -hmm. you, you used to not would. Mm -hmm. You used to get devastated very easily, uh, but um, mm -hmm. now you can manage it. Can you say something mm -hmm. else about it? What else do you like about it? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After I turned 40, mm -hmm. uh, I uh, um, uh, find uh, new aspects of life and okay, I um, enjoy focus, focus. Here is a good mm -hmm. time. Now is a good time to use present perfect. Okay? Uh -huh. For example, I don't know when you uh -huh. turned 40. Maybe it was last month. Uh -huh. Sting. Uh -huh. Very good. Sting. Since I turned for uh, I turned mm -hmm. I turned mm -hmm. forty, mm -hmm. uh, I can um, I have mm -hmm. I've uh, mm -hmm. I I've found um, the Wait, the how I can found, you use how can you use can in that phrase? First, you said. I can, and then you, then you wanted to use present perfect, but you knew that you cannot use the word I, can. I've uh, uh -huh. I've abled uh, no. uh, to. No, no, no. Uh, I've. Uh huh. I've mm -hmm. able. I. There's something more you need I've, to add before able. I've been able to. Uh, I've been mm -hmm. um, I've been able to uh, find uh, find uh, found out mm -hmm. different uh, as aspect no, different no, no. different. I've been able to mm -hmm. find out. I've been able to find out, not found out. I've been able to find out different aspects. Mm -hmm. I've been able as I've yes, yes. since I turned. Uh, 40, mm -hmm. I've been able mm -hmm. uh, find out different no. aspects. No, go back, say it again. You skipped one word again. I've been, mm -hmm. uh, two. Yes, that's very I, good. Since, since, since mm -hmm. I turned uh -huh. 40, yes. I've been able to find out mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. aspects mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. And I uh, enjoy, I've enjoyed the, my life more mm -hmm. and uh, no, I... No, 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 no. Uh, I've enjoyed my life more. See, ah, oh, you haven't studied lesson nine yet, right? Lesson nine is yes. present perfect continuous. Uh -huh. Okay, when you I, want to uh -huh. emphasize the continuity of something, you use present perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. I've been enjoying mm -hmm. life more. Instead of I've enjoyed life. I've, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. enjoying mm -hmm. life more mm -hmm. and I uh, hopefully uh, I have, I've been able to smile more and more mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, think uh, I um, I I know mm -hmm. um, the life uh, it's uh, the problems mm -hmm. uh, will be solved mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's uh, it's not necessary mm -hmm. to be fight with them no uh, they mm, it's mm, not necessary to fight with them mm, to, 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 fight, fight. to fight with them yes and to fight with them mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the mm, this shall pass. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this no, shall no, no. pass. No, no, no. Shoot. The expression mm -hmm. is this too shall pass. This too mm -hmm. shall pass. But you can't use it like this. Mm -hmm. You can say, for example, mm -hmm. like this. It, it needs to be part of a sentence. Okay? For example, I come mm -hmm. to you and say, Shun, I'm, I feel so bad. Something bad happened to me. And mm -hmm. then you say, okay, also, don't worry. This too shall pass like this or mm -hmm. if you're just talking and i'm listening to you you can say okay every time something bad happens to me i think with myself that yeah this too shall pass like that یا اینکه مثلا قبلش میگید یه اتفاقی افتاده باشه مثلا من خودم فکر میکنم که دیس تو شرف هست همینجوری به عنوان یه جمله نمیگید که دیس تو شرف هست اصلا اینطوری کاربورد نداره بگم بگم when something bad occurs or comes up occurs is very formal for this speaking you can use it in your writing comes up to I don't think so, no. When comes up is when something happens. It's, I think, neutral. It's not negative. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. When right. something mm -hmm. bad... Mm -hmm. When something bad... Mm -hmm. uh, happen, mm -hmm. hap yes, happens. Yes, happens. Happens. Yes, yes. I mm, say... Mm -hmm. uh, I... Mm -hmm. I say... I say myself i say myself, myself these two with, shall pass. with myself yes i say to myself i think with myself yes this two shall pass i think with myself this mm. two shall pass now you can use that expression that i just taught you life begins at 40. Mm -hmm. how can you mm -hmm. use it at the end of this um talk mm -hmm. how can you use it mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, um, uh, uh, since uh, I um, mm -hmm. um, since uh, I turned uh, forty, mm -hmm. um, I uh, find I've uh, found I've found the meaning of mm -hmm. life begins at. 40. Okay, I found the meaning of the expression that says life begins at 40. That was good. That was good. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. Okay, I, I need to think about this book and see if um, we can cover it in the classes or maybe you can read it uh, on your own mm -hmm. and then use it in the class. I think about it. But just um, okay, thank you. buy the book or download the PDF. It's very helpful. Okay. Okay. So, based on your turn about age, yeah. at what age do you think mm -hmm. people are the happiest? Uh, it differs for different people, mm -hmm. but I think uh, generally mm -hmm. after the age of 40, mm -hmm. people have enough experience mm -hmm. and life skill yes. to um, have a better life and happiness and fulfillment and a sense of happiness and fulfillment a sense of fulfillment yes or to experience a sense of happiness yes or to uh, you can also say or to experience happiness and uh, fulfillment yes 
Okay, is that all? Yeah. Do you want Although to... after mm -hmm. the age of 40, you have some limitations mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. um, your experience and your skill skills that you um, uh, that you uh, re that you have reached during the years will help you to no. Uh, no, no. you don't reach a skill you gain it uh -huh. gain yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. go on um, the, the life skills that you gain during the years will help you mm -hmm. to uh, to um, have a uh, happier life yes to have a happier life yes yes very good yes is that it I think so. Okay. <laughs> what was the most important decision you have made? I think we covered this one. That's repetitious. Let me go to the next one. Do you like traveling? I like traveling, yes, mm -hmm. but whenever I have enough time mm -hmm. and money, mm -hmm. I am a kind of person who uh, likes to travel and visit different places. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think it has been influenced by several factors, yes. specifically time and money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, then what should I say? Okay, you, sh you can explain <laughs> about time and money. You can say that money is tight, for example. So I haven't been able to uh, spend much well, yes. uh, on trips. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it has been influenced by time and money mm -hmm. because I have a very uh, hectic schedule. Very good. Very and good. I rarely can find a, a suitable time in my uh, schedule to, you know, to take rest or mm -hmm. go. go Go on a travel. Go on a trip. And uh, go on a trip. Go on a trip. Yes. Yes. Go on a trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, nowadays, on top of that, I can say mm -hmm. the money is going to be uh, the most important factor. Yes. Um, because um, um, uh, our life is um, um, influenced uh, mm -hmm. by financial issues mm -hmm. very much yes yes okay do you know anything any expressions about trips shirin do you know any expressions about trips mm. any sayings any quotes of course quotes are not suitable for conversation for speaking section but expressions no, I uh, unfortunately. So you want to say that it's better to um, say a quote no, or not an quote. expression? No, not a quote. Quote is not good for the speaking part, but expressions are good. It doesn't mean that if you don't use expressions, you lose points. No, not at all. I mean, you have to, you know, cover two. all the fronts, you know. Yes. Sometimes you cannot think of an expression, then you can use a structure. Sometimes you cannot think of a structure, a specific structure, show off your grammar. Mm. But if you work on all these, yes. then at least one of them will come to your mind when you're talking, you're in the exam room. Okay? Yes. So the next one. Um, which cities have you traveled to in your country? Uh, I have traveled to uh, so many uh, cities mm -hmm. uh, in Iran, mm -hmm. specifically, um, you know, because of my because of my job, I have been in different cities in north northern and so southern parts of the country. Yes. So it was an opportunity for me and my family mm -hmm. to go and visit different cities mm -hmm. and um, uh, monuments. Monuments, and, um, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just but that. other than that, mm -hmm. um, yeah, other than that, there are some cities mm -hmm. like Mashhad, mm -hmm. Kurdistan, mm -hmm. Tabriz that 
um, it's I think uh, it's a must uh, for uh, for uh, for uh, Irani for a Yakirani for any Iranian. <laughs> For an Iranian. For any Iranian. <laughs> okay. For any Iranian, any Iranian to go and visit. Yes, very good. Okay. What kind of what kind of cities do you like to travel to? First of all, mm -hmm. I like to go to historical cities mm -hmm. that um, you know Kedar Moridishun. About uh -huh. which? About which? About, about which about is too which formal. Have... About which is too formal for speaking. You can use it in your writing. For example, I I would I'd like to go or travel to historical cities, uh, which I know a lot about. Okay. Yeah. Or I'd like yes. to travel like to, to a city which I know a lot about. But about which is formal. It's for writing. You yeah. use the preposition at the end for speaking. Yes, go on. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to go to historical cities like um, Isfahan and Shiraz, mm -hmm. um, which I know uh, about. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. which, I know, which I know a lot about, and I've learned uh, a lot uh, about uh, in books, mm -hmm. and it's... Uh, it's a pleasure to visit these cities because you it uh, it can mm -hmm. um, remind you of your lessons mm -hmm. and your um, um, and your school days. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I try to do that. Mm -hmm. I have been in Shiraz and Isfahan and other historical cities, mm -hmm. but uh, other than that, there are uh, other cities like. Mashhad because of Imam Reza mm -hmm. and uh, you know Shahroy uh, Marzi. Okay, border cities. I think you can say border cities. Uh, border cities. But let me check. Yeah, border too. cities yes. like, mm -hmm. like Daylam or Kordesan mm -hmm. because um, they have, I think, their own specific attractions for us. For example, for mm -hmm. buying things and so on. I see. You mean souvenirs? Souvenirs. Yes, yes, it's a border city. And, see border city. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And visit Baradaran <laughs> Okay, smugglers. You mean smuggler yeah. means Kachakchi. <laughs> yes, smugglers. Because you, you know, because you can find. Mm -hmm. um, um, you can find the things that you need mm -hmm. uh, with a, a with a reasonable price. Yes, with a reasonable price. That was good. Okay. So in order to shop, you prefer border towns and cities. In order to just visit, you prefer historical cities. Okay, that was good. Okay, now sharing back to you. Which city... Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about trips, it means which city that you've traveled to, you've been to. Which city left the deepest impression on you? Left the deepest. Yes. Do you understand the meaning of this question? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So answer it, mm -hmm. please. Which city left the deepest impression on you? Well, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I uh, was born in Isfahan, and Isfahan is a very uh, nice uh, city mm -hmm. uh, because it's very clean, and also you can see a lot of uh, ancient monuments uh, mm -hmm. in there. Monuments, uh, but, yes. Uh, monuments. Mm -hmm. But uh, the city mm -hmm. that uh, in influenced me was she uh, was she was mm -hmm. because uh, it's uh, the mixture of uh, nature and uh, um, uh, ancient you can uh, it's a mixture of nations and nature no, no, no. Wait, and wait. also it's a mixture of you said nation and nature uh, 
and uh -huh. uh, ma monuments mm -hmm. and uh, old uh, ancient. Yes, ancient means very old. Um, Mm -hmm. this, ancient mm -hmm. building and mm -hmm. uh, also natures mm -hmm. and nature the, just nature the, you mean natural nature, sites, nature. so nature yes yes mm -hmm. and, uh, some uh, things uh, some things uh, in, uh, which influence mm -hmm. uh, influence me mm -hmm. uh, uh, was uh, the way of their their shirazi the way of shirazian living okay wait wait they are first of all there is no shirazian okay people of shiraz okay or shirazi people but uh, she um, pay attention to the question the question was which city left the deepest impression on you i know that you know the meaning of impression in uh, your sentences yes. once you said influence that was good but then you repeated that mm -hmm. two more times. That's not good. Instead of saying influence, mm -hmm. influence, influence, and repeat it a lot, you can use mm -hmm. other words mm -hmm. like uh -huh. the verb form of impression. Um, what is the verb form of impression? The verb mm -hmm. form. Impress. 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 Yes. Impress. And see, Shirin, mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to use variety in your speech, but you cannot think of, for example, a synonym. You once used influence, mm -hmm. another time you use impress, for example, and then you don't know what to say. These times, yeah. you can use passive instead mm -hmm. of active. Okay, once I say, uh -huh. the city that impressed me a lot was Shiraz. And then you want to say mm -hmm. something and use impress a lot again, but you don't want want it to be repetitious so this time you use it in passive form you say um i was impressed by shiraz i was impressed by the people of shiraz this time you use the same word the same mm -hmm. verb but the voice was passive the first time was active mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. um along with the fact that when you answer the questions for the speaking section, you need to think about you still would think about the past, connect the past to the present mm -hmm. time by using present perfect and try to make a lot of passive mm -hmm. sentences. Sometimes in order to mm -hmm. um, have variety in your speech, you can use passive of the same verb mm -hmm. or the same word that you used two sentences ago. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. now talk about mm -hmm. Shirazi people or people of Shiraz. This time use mm -hmm. passive. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. um, the people of Shiraz mm -hmm. are very easy winning mm -hmm. and it was impressed me a lot. No, no. Um, it, it impressed me, not it was impressed me. I was impressed a lot. It impressed me. Uh -huh, I want. Yes, let me type it. Mm -hmm. It impressed me. It. Me. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. um, influenced. No. By. No. Their lifestyle. Influenced. I was influenced. You mean? I was influenced, not influenced. Yes. Influence. I was influenced. Mm -hmm. by. I was influenced mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. lifestyle. Yes, yes. So I was impressed by their mm -hmm. lifestyle. Okay. They mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, I used to live there mm -hmm. for two years. Yes. And uh, no, I. Uh, I'm sorry, Shirin, but when you use uh, used to instead of past simple. You don't you you don't mention the length of time. Tule zaman ro ba used to nemi gofti. Point of time you can say, uh -huh. for example, I used to do this two years ago, but not for two years, mm -hmm. not for three years. No length of time with mm -hmm. used to. Uh -huh. okay. I would live there. No, I lived there for two years. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I lived there. Mm -hmm. For two years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I used to live there uh, without mentioning the length of time. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. I used to live there. Mm -hmm. I used to live there, and uh, I uh, see so. uh, the. I see. So. Uh, uh, I saw mm -hmm. they living mm -hmm. um, uh, in. Uh, uh, I saw they living. Uh, they're living and I've learned mm -hmm. uh, a lot uh, I learned I've learned a lot of policy oh, policies <laughs> living po life policies you mean you learn life yes. policy mm -hmm. uh, from uh, from uh, them once from, from them from them from them, from them. From them. yes like what mm -hmm. Like being easygoing mm -hmm. and uh, um, enjoy your life, and enjoying your life, and uh, and not to give it down, your... huh? Not to give it down. Yeah. What does it mean? To give it down. What do you mean? Yani be khial budan. Hello. It's not yeah. very yeah. very polite. Not... not to give it down. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm, they mm -hmm. um, they just think about uh, um, party mm -hmm. take a whole the party mm -hmm. and uh, have a good day mm -hmm. and uh, all the time they um, uh, got together mm -hmm. and uh, they laugh uh, they laughed they they laugh uh, um, a lot mm -hmm. and uh, uh, some and they uh, was very happy. They were very happy. <laughs> so that is true about Shirazi they people. Very... They are easygoing. That was a good yeah. adjective to use. Very they good, are... easygoing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know them very well. Um, mm -hmm. No, uh, exactly. <laughs> that is that is true. That is exactly true. That is yes, true. Okay. true. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, mm, I try. To uh, I have mm -hmm. I've tried to live like them. <laughs> yes, very good. I've tried to live like mm -hmm. them. Yes, very good, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, mm -hmm. Besa, back to mm -hmm. you. Let's talk about breaks. Do you prefer a long break or several short breaks? Um, of course, I like several short breaks mm -hmm. because. When I have a long break mm -hmm. and I lose my um, daily routine, mm -hmm. I uh, will uh, f feel like I have lost something, I think. And I have the experience of mm -hmm. going on a trip, for example, for three, three, or, three or four weeks. Yes. And <clears throat> I remember one thing that um, annoyed me mm -hmm was um uh you know losing my daily routine losing my schedule and i had a bad feeling about that mm -hmm. but i uh, really appreciate it if i could go to you know several um short uh, uh breaks mm. okay mm -hmm. of course breaks can be in the form of trips too but if I were you, I wouldn't answer it like this. I don't think the point of the question was about trips, breaks like trips, but breaks in the middle of the day, I think. Can you answer it from that aspect? Um, Do you prefer long breaks um, during the day or short ones? Of course, a trip is a break. break. A trip is a break, but because I'm not sure, um, I, I think you should answer it from that aspect too uh, okay mm -hmm. uh, you mean breaks during the day yes. when you work for example yeah sure do you prefer short ones or just long ones one long break or several short ones for example you work uh, from the from from the morning to night okay do you prefer to have just yes. i don't know one hour an an hour long break at noon or several five minute ten minute breaks throughout the day 
Which one do you prefer? I prefer the second one mm -hmm. because uh, I have um, uh, I have a lot to do during the day, mm -hmm. and when I when I'm exhausted mm -hmm. or I feel tired, mm -hmm. I try to take a short break mm -hmm. because in this way I can be refreshed uh -huh. and do my do my tasks uh, whatever it could be mm -hmm. uh, uh, with a, a better quality I think mm -hmm. very good okay how often do you take a break uh, when I do something uh, physically for example after two or three hours but when I want to do something uh, mentally, mm -hmm. after one hour, I need a break, at least for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you didn't yeah. use any expressions. You just answered the questions. Okay, don't forget, the IELTS test is about your knowledge of grammar and vocabulary, not just answering questions. Okay. So can you say, some, say yes. something in, in another way? How often do you take a break? Um. First, talk about uh, the past. I haven't... First, talk about the past. Always, first, talk about the past. Then, connect the past to the present yeah. time. And then, if, if needed, talk about the future. Yes. Um, um, nowadays, when I want to do uh, something um, that, that, that is um, uh, mentally, I need a break, for no. example, after no, one no, hour. No, 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 wait, wait. That is mental. You don't use adverbs with to be verbs. Okay? Just there are exceptions, that but that is mental because the verb is easy, is easy to be, and you use adjectives with it. So when I want to do something that is mental, or when I have a mental mental. activity, yes. Oh yes, yes, it's better. Um, nowadays, when I have a mental activity, mm -hmm. I uh, will uh, need a break mm -hmm. after uh, one hour, for example, for. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes mm -hmm. but um, in physical activities um, I prefer to have a break after two or three hours mm -hmm. but uh, it is so at this age and I remember mm -hmm. when I was younger mm -hmm. I used to do mm -hmm. you know um, um, uh, mental and physical tasks mm -hmm. um, uh, for hours mm -hmm. and I didn't um, and I um, um, I didn't need uh, any breaks because I think in that mm -hmm. uh, period of my life, yes, I was um, stronger and my uh, physical capacity uh, was more. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, nowadays, uh, I, I think I need uh, more breaks okay. to do. Uh, my tasks uh, with uh, a, um, with a, with a good quality. Yes, that was good. That was good. You use activity and then task. You use the variety of vocabulary. That was great. Thank you. Okay, two more questions. Shirin, you yes. answered this one. Uh, what do you usually mm -hmm. do during a break? Mm -hmm. um, uh, during the break, mm -hmm. I try to close my eyes, mm -hmm. and uh, um, if I if it uh, is possible mm -hmm. for me to lie mm -hmm. and uh, um, uh, stretch my body, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, all the time mm -hmm. uh, in my breaks, mm -hmm. uh, I um, uh, drinks a cup of coffee. Drink. It. Uh, I, I drink mm -hmm. uh, I drink a cup of coffee mm -hmm. it uh, helps me a lot to be refreshed mm -hmm. and uh, uh, also Shirin I've, I've heard mm, I think you and Beza both of you use be refreshed a lot you can also use feel to feel refreshed that's not wrong of course uh -huh. but in order to have variety in your speech to feel refreshed yes mm -hmm. okay go on it helps it helps mm -hmm. me to feel refreshed mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, sure, refreshed. Um, Do you say I'm... refreshed? Okay. Yes. Feel refreshed. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, the most uh, important features in mm -hmm. 
uh, break time mm -hmm. it's to uh, quit your mobile cell phone <laughs> uh, quit your mobile uh, i don't think you can use quit yeah. with that put away your mobile phone mm -hmm. i think put away your mobile phone is better yes yeah. yeah, very good okay yeah. put, mm -hmm. put away your cell phone mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and uh, gives uh, um, your gives uh, yours gives the opportunity to yourself to be relaxed you mean you give um, yourself or do you mean putting away the cell phone gives you the opportunity uh, put away the cell phone uh -huh. is a very good uh, uh, way to being relaxed okay, no. Because... نه ببینید وقتی بهتون میگم مثلا یه جای تحصیل کنید کل جمله رو تغییر ندید چون وقت متوجه نمیشید مشکلتون چی بود اولش رو درست گفتید ببینید اولش گفته چی one, one good thing یه چیزی توی این مایه ها is uh, quit your mobile phone okay? یه هم چیزی گفتید okay. گفتم quit نه putting away your mobile phone is a good way okay? چون جملتون الان یادم نمیاد مجبورم این شکلی بگم چرا؟ به خاطر این که شما جملتون رو میخواید با یه نهادی با یه فایل شروع کنید اون کلمه یا فریزی که در جای نهاد یا فایل اول جمله میشینه باید از نظر پارت of speech noun باشه آینجی میدید به فعل <تصفيق> که noun بشه put away که بگید امریه imperative put away your mobile phone بذارش کنار اما یهو وسطش اصلا قرار نیست به کسی امری چیزی بگید اونجا دارید در به خودتون صحبت میکنید اصلا نابجا میشه اونجا imperative یهو putting away your mobile phone is a good way. یهو وسطش گفتید it is a good way. But gives you an opportunity. یهو این شکلی بدون اینکه فائل بگید گفتید gives you. که من اینجا نمیدونستم منظورتون اینه که به خودتون give give yourself یا این به شما یک opportunity میشه میده. Okay. Putting away your self gives you sometimes you some time to be relaxed yes especially your eyes especially what especially your eyes your eyes yes especially your eyes yes mm -hmm. sure of course i said i didn't hear quitting your mobile phone i think it's not used like that if you see it somewhere mm -hmm. just tell me okay i never saw it being used like that okay that was good mm -hmm. putting away your mobile phone that was good Putting away your mm -hmm. mobile phone yeah. gives you mm -hmm. an opportunity to relax, and to feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. Second one, yes. uh, stretching your body mm -hmm. and uh, uh, doing uh, some exercise uh -huh. uh, helps me a lot mm -hmm. to uh, be relaxed. Yes, you're using and, be relaxed uh, a lot now. To feel relaxed. Yes, to feel relaxed. Feel relaxed. Feel relaxed. Or to relax my mind. Yes, very good. Yes, yeah. or to relax your mind. Yes. Avoid repetition for the IELTS okay. test. Okay, for the speaking and for the, for writing, avoid repetition. Okay. The last question. Focus. Why do you need to take a break? Mm -hmm. uh, because um, the efficiency mm -hmm. uh, is uh, being <coughs> increased if <coughs> you... No, no. Uh, no, Shirin, go back, I... go back. Um, you said mm -hmm. being increased. Why being in increased? Your efficiency mm -hmm. is will be increased. Will be increased. Yeah. Increase Kim Shafsa yes. Will be increased. Absolutely. And will be <laughs> will be decreased be, yeah. uh, if you mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, don't mm -hmm. if you don't give a break mm -hmm. to yourself and uh, yes. uh, and uh, I uh, think mm -hmm. for uh, for myself. Mm -hmm. I used to mm -hmm. uh, take a break after uh, 70 minutes. 
minutes. Okay, For wait, example, wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. It's good that you thought about used to and you tried to use one sentence using used to, but sometimes use negative used to. Instead of talking about all the things that you used to do in the past, think about the things you didn't used to do. Okay, that's variety. For example, instead of saying, I used to take, for example, breaks every 10 minutes, say, I didn't mm-hmm. used to bake, uh, I didn't used to take a lot of breaks when I was younger. I didn't used to take a lot mm-hmm. of breaks when um, I was taking care of my child, when I was working mm-hmm. at my previous job, etc. Okay, mm-hmm. now go back, mm-hmm. say something. What used to? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I didn't used to mm-hmm. take a break mm-hmm. uh, when uh, I was mm-hmm. uh, younger mm-hmm. and uh, I uh, got uh, tired mm-hmm. very soon mm-hmm. and I uh, 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 lost mm-hmm. my focus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I and I lost my focus, yes. and uh, then I uh, uh, changed my uh, policy, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, now mm-hmm. nowadays uh, I've um, did uh, uh, my uh, uh, nowadays I've mm-hmm. done mm-hmm. my job uh, for seventy minutes minutes mm-hmm. and i've uh, uh, i've uh, taken uh, a break mm-hmm. for 10 minutes okay sure uh, this is and... your routine routines are uh-huh. said in present mm-hmm. simple form not present perfect uh-huh. okay yeah. but you can say it um... but you can use present perfect if, if you mention something about the past if you link it to the present too to the present time for example mm-hmm. um since mm-hmm. i understood for example since as zamonica since i understood that breaks are so important i've been taking mm-hmm. longer breaks since i understood that mm-hmm. taking a break helps me refocus i've been taking mm-hmm. a break after uh, 70 minutes of working you can use present perfect mm-hmm. like this but you just said nowadays Mm -hmm. and you're talking about your Mm -hmm. routine so you cannot use present perfect Mm -hmm. in here okay okay Okay. Mm -hmm. thank you okay anything else to add or was that all Mm. no nothing okay okay (laughs) okay that was good very good thank you very much and have a good weekend you too. Thank you very much. That was great as always. Thank you very much. That's very kind Thank of you. you. You were great. See you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Bye-bye. Yes.